Hey guys, today's video is going to be me talking about my weight loss and going from 240 pounds to 140 pounds and just the struggle of trying to lose weight and just kind of the overall process and how I'm feeling and just things outside of just weight loss to like how my life is like changed after weight loss and stuff. So this is just going to be like an overview video. So if you want like an in-depth video on how I lost the weight, I'll post the link to videos that I have talking about that down below in the description box so you can check out but right now I'm gonna be talking about like that beep I don't know where that came from hopefully it wasn't like a fire alarm or something and like my house is burning down and I'm filming a video anyway so I've always gotten several questions about like oh how's your life changed like after weight loss and stuff so you know briefly if you're not subscribed to my channel and this is the first video that you're seeing of mine I lost 100 pounds so I went from 240 pounds to 140 and if you're not subscribed I definitely think that you should so go ahead and click the subscribe link I think it's either up or down I don't know it's somewhere subscribe so I was just kind of in a not depressed I was kind of depressed just because the friends that I had in high school were all like hanging out with each other and doing stuff with each other and they weren't inviting me and I really didn't have any friends besides like one or two people and I was just in a place where I just wasn't happy and I figured that everything that was wrong in my life was coming from me being overweight so I literally blamed everything that had happened to me on being overweight I could have tripped on a rock and I would have been like it's because I'm overweight like that is why I'm fat so I tripped on that rock got a D on my exam it's because I'm overweight I'm fat I got that's why I got that D on the exam I was just in that kind of place where everything wrong in my life was because I was overweight so after going to like a Trey Songz concert um, I kind of changed my perspective and I decided that I would you know go for the plunge and try to lose weight and so my parents have been on the Atkins diet which is a diet where for the first two weeks, it's like an induction phase where you literally only have meat and veggies and like eggs. That's the only thing that you can really eat. Um, and on the induction phase, my parents had lost between like 14 to 17 pounds. And so I was really interested in trying it. And so I tried it. It was going okay, but I realized that I did need a few carbs. So I did eat like a little bit of pretzels and things like here and there. But for the most part, it was low carb. So with eating low carb style, like basically the Atkins diet because for the first like little section of my journey I was following the Atkins thing um, I decided that I need to work out and that I need to run and I remember I went outside and I ran like a block and I was like this is not gonna work I'm too overweight like I'm just not gonna be able to lose the weight like I felt like I just wasn't gonna be able to and I thought maybe I should like you know go slower so instead of running I'll walk and I started walking and then like it progressed to like jogging and then like you know now I can just run however long I want to and not really stop um, unless I'm thirsty so yeah and then I just did that every day um, and I started off with doing it once a day when I got home from school I'm um, in work which is about like six o'clock and then I started doing it in the morning because I was like seeing progress the first like week I think I lost like 10 pounds I was just like oh my god this is amazing and I wanted to see results like more and more like I was getting really addicted to seeing results so I started doing it in the morning and then at night too and I was just like a running fool I did not have a gym membership or anything I literally was just running I didn't even have running shoes I was running in Jordans I didn't even have running shoes guys so literally when it comes to losing weight like you literally just have to work with what you got honestly work with what you have not everyone is going to be able to have the money to have a gym membership or you know to have expensive equipment or fancy running shoes and workout clothes like literally it's about just getting out there and trying so I didn't have running shoes I had this one these like one pair of capri pants and an oversized shirt and I just got out there and started doing it I started losing weight like my family started noticing and they would tell me like oh my god you look so good and I wouldn't see it like I'd be like oh I still feel the same like uh and I it wasn't until I compared pictures that I started to see the difference um, and then fast forward until now as much as it pains me to say this uh, it's still hard for me to like see how much weight that I've lost um, and as you can tell by like if you've been watching my videos and you see my thumbnails and stuff and my pictures on Instagram I have lost a considerable amount of weight like a hundred pounds is a lot to lose but I don't know it's just it's hard for because I'm stuck in this mindset where I'm not, I don't look how I want to look, I'm just really hard on myself and I'm trying to get out of that because I feel like that's a lot of what is stopping me from reaching my ultimate goal is always being so hard on myself and just 
I have to get out of that. My thought was when I lost weight, my whole entire life was just gonna fall into place. I was gonna get the dream job that I wanted. School was gonna be amazing. I was gonna have straight A's. I was gonna get the guy that I wanted. Like, oh yeah, that guy doesn't like me now, but he like he'll like me when I lose all this weight and he'll be my boyfriend. He'll ask me to be his girlfriend. Like it'll just be this amazing turn of events. Um, and no, I mean with guys, I do get way more attention than I like did back then. I didn't get any attention from guys back then at all. Now I get a lot of attention, um, but it's like misguided attention I feel like. Um, a lot of the guys my age and even older than me, um, they all want that one thing, that thing, that thing. We all know that song by Lauren Hill. Sometimes, sometimes only I feel like right now that's what a guy, like guys are just about that. So, you know. And if you watch my past videos, you know that I'm a virgin, so me being a virgin just kind of like 99.9% .9 of those guys are just gonna like, no, like, we're not gonna go there. That's a subject for another video. My life did not just fall together. Everything is not this magical little fairy tale land. I'm still really hard on myself. I feel like I have body dysmorphia because no matter how much weight I lose or how much I tone up and stuff, it's just always like I'm not satisfied and that's kind of scary. So I always get like a ton of questions on like my exact routine and I'm literally going to do a video on the exact routine that I did when I'm um, losing weight, like I'm gonna go back to like my old neighborhood and film literally the exact same routine that I did. But basically what I did was in the morning I woke up and I ran around my neighborhood, but my neighborhood is was hilly. Um, I don't live there anymore, but it was like downhill, uphill, downhill, uphill. Um, and that equated to like 3.5 miles I think and sometimes I did it twice and some days I just did it once um, A lot of days I just did it once just because I had to shower get ready for school take my sister to school and all that So I didn't have that much time um, So I did that and that was 3.5 miles or 7 miles and then when I got home from work Which was around like 6 630 my job was literally around the corner back then um I would run again so that same circuit and usually in the like evening time I would do it twice um, so I was seven miles and then I would just ride my bike around my complex I lived in a gated community so I would literally ride my bike around the gated community for like an hour to two hours I loved riding my bike because it was so therapeutic for me I literally plug in my iPod and just ride around while listening to the music on my headphones and it was so 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 therapeutic I tell you I miss riding my bike and the area that we live in now there's so many cars and like they just drive crazy there's blind corners so I don't really like to ride my bike in this neighborhood and I literally did that every day for a year without changing anything so basically I literally did that same thing and at towards the end I started introducing in like dumbbells and like lifting weights and stuff but literally I just ran and rode my bike and I think you should start off walking if you know you're like I cannot run just start off walking like I did I literally could not run just try to do what you can do there are a bunch of youtube workout videos that you can do i wish i would have like implemented some of that in my workout routine i didn't I wish i would have like lifted heavier weights when doing that because i feel like my stomach would be a lot leaner than it is now um that is like a problem area for me that i'm just so irritated with and like when i have on clothes it looks like oh my gosh you know you're so small you're so thin and then like when i put on a bathing suit is just like girl you a little pudgy so it sucks a lot of people will also ask me like oh you know my parents don't support me my family don't support me they make fun of me it's hard for me to like keep going when people are just making fun of me and stuff and don't use that as a way to put yourself down use that as a way to motivate yourself and keep going like a lot of people are like I don't work that way and do reverse psychology like I'm, I don't work that way but you really need to stop playing the victim all the time um, and just get to it I feel like when I stop playing the victim then I was really able to see results. But if you continue to play the victim and say, oh, I can't do it because this, I can't do it because that, people are making fun of me, oh, I'm too embarrassed, then it's just not gonna happen for you. I'm honestly gonna tell you it's not gonna happen as long as you continue to play the victim. You really have to get into a mindset where you make yourself stronger each and every day. Like, I'm not gonna let this affect me because I know where I wanna go and I know where I can go. So right now I'm 300 pounds, but I know that if I keep working hard enough that I can be 150 pounds you really 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 just have to like get out of that 
oh poor me mindset or else it's not gonna happen a lot of people that I know that ask for my help with weight loss um, and I try to help them but you can only try to help somebody so far a lot of my friends will be like I'm overweight like help me what can I do I'll try to help them and they always have that oh poor like wounded bird syndrome where they're like oh poor me the world should feel bad for me because of this and that and no no one owes you anything nobody has to feel bad for you you have to get off your butt and do what you need to do to lose weight I had that same feeling when I first started oh people are making fun of me running like because they see this fat girl running down the street or trying to run down the street and walking some people might be judging me saying why is she walking instead of running she needs to be running I just had like all these things going on in my head and yeah, you know, you feel bad, you want sympathy, but you're not gonna get it. Most of the time, you're really not gonna get it. People are gonna make fun of you, people are gonna laugh at you, people are gonna doubt you, people are gonna say that you can't do it, but you can't let that affect you. As long as you continue to let that affect you, I'm telling you, you're not gonna lose weight. You really have to get into a mindset where you believe in yourself and that's the only thing that matters, where you know you can do it and that's the only thing that matters. You don't need a giant support team and system behind you telling you, telling you that you can do it. I did not have a giant support team behind me telling me, oh, you can do it, you can do it. But as soon as I lost the weight, then I had the people say, doubting me and telling me that I couldn't do it, oh, how did you do it? Because I want to do it too. So you really just have to commit. You have to be consistent. You have to be patient because you're not going to see results right away. Um, and you just have to go for it. You have to give it your all. You can't half step and try to lose weight and actually lose weight. I'm learning that now. Like, I'm still trying to tone my body and get my body to where I want. And right now, I will tell you, I am half stepping my butt off. I am half stepping all the way. And I know that half stepping is not going to get me to where I want to go. It's not going to get me to where I want to go. I've been working out um, for, like... Three weeks now consistently but have my eating habits been on point no they have not and my eating habits not being on point is definitely affecting my weight loss because I work out twice a day um, and I'm not just like maintaining but I'm only losing like one to two pounds like a week maybe a week and a half and I know that I could be more you know I could be excelling my body could be toned but I'm not squatting as much as I should I'm not deadlifting as much as I should like I should be lifting weights every workout and I don't do that um so I know that I'm half stepping and I'm half stepping and guess what I'm not there um so I just have to get into the mindset like I'm telling you guys too where I know I can do it I know the goal that I'm trying to reach and I gotta get there um when you lose weight it gets harder sometimes as it go along as it goes along Number one, to lose the weight, and then number two, to keep yourself in that mind frame where you're like, okay, I can do this, I can do this. Because when you start to see yourself losing weight, you think like, hey, I look good, like I look way better than I looked before, and you get all in your head, and you're like, ooh, yeah, I can fit these size pants I wasn't able to fit before, mm-hmm, I look good, so you know what, I'm going to have this slice of pizza right here, but that slice of pizza can turn into three slices of pizza real, real quick. So you have to make up in your mind, yeah, I look good, but can I look better? Yes, I can, so am I going to turn down this slice of pizza? Pizza? Yes, I am. You literally have to get into that mindset because if you don't, you will crash and burn. I am lucky enough to have to be like working out every single day. Like I literally work out every single day. But if I wasn't working out every single day, I probably would have gained at least like 25 pounds back because my eating habits have been sucky. And um, when you do get to the points where you're happy with your body, you still have to work out. You can't be like, oh, I'm happy with my body. I'm not going to work out and eat all the food that I was eating before again. That's not going to work. If you eat the food that you were eating before and work out, you're going to maintain. But if you eat more than you're burning, it's going downhill. You're going to gain weight back and you're going to be all sad and depressed. So don't do that. You literally have to just, it's a lifestyle change. Working out and eating right is just a lifestyle change. And if you want to eat a little bad or, you know, you want to eat this chocolate cake or this, five slices of pizza then you got to make sure that you're working out to balance that out you get it and I know it may sound like I'm being harsh on you guys and whatever but you really need tough love to be able to do it because nobody's gonna feel bad for you nobody's gonna have sympathy for you nobody is gonna like oh come here let me hold you because no like you gotta do it yourself you're not gonna have a big support system behind you I didn't have a big support system behind me in fact I don't think I had anybody behind me because it's just something that I was doing I wasn't looking for sympathy or support like I didn't tell my parents hey you know every day I'm gonna go running cuz I'm trying to lose weight I just left the house and went running hey Jen where are you going I'm gonna go outside and jog and ride my bike that's it I wasn't like oh root for me you know I want you on my team because I realized 
I have to do it for myself. I have to be here for myself. I can't want the support of anybody else because at the end of the day, if they stop supporting me, I'm the kind of person where if I have that support and they stop supporting me, that's it. Like, I, I, my life goes into shambles. I get really depressed. I'm like, oh, what did I do wrong? Hey, if you have a support system of people behind you saying, yeah, you can do it. Good job. You know, go ahead. Then that's great. That's really good for you. And I'm sure that's really helping you succeed and, like, reach your goals. But for me, I didn't have that. And a lot of people that comment on my videos don't have that. They have people doubting them and saying that they can't do it. But they don't have the people there saying, yeah, you can do it. Keep going. So, there. But. If you ever feel like you do need somebody in your corner to say that you can do it and to be there for you and to root for you, you can always message me, you can always message me here on YouTube as well as Twitter. I have my DMs open so anybody can DM me. Instagram and like whatever else social media platform I'm on. Snapchat, I'm really good at responding to you guys on Snap. Um, so let me know. I've actually like made like subscriber friends on Snapchat because like you guys like literally snap me every day and I feel like we're like friends like hey girl like hey like you know it's like a cool thing so if you want to be friends like real friends snap is the way to go so yeah I feel like that is it for this weight loss video I kind of got sidetracked um and started talking about motivational things you know I have to completely cut the carbs out of your diet to lose weight because sometimes I would have like those little pretzel thins and stuff but only a serving size so whatever I ate I would have it one serving size or half a serving size um I never went over more than one serving of something. Um, so I definitely suggest like portion control. Um, even if you're doing low carb, portion control that too still. I would make sure you're having more than just like two meals a day. Try to keep it at least three. Um, I would have like four a day. But don't be afraid to have carbs. And when I say carbs, I mean the good carbs. So I would have half a thin bagel and I, it would be a wheat thin bagel. Like it wouldn't be white bread. Um, but I would still have rice and obviously pizza and stuff here and there. I've seen some people on their videos, they preach like, oh, you got to go strict and you can't have any bad food and blah, like, you know, but no, like I had stuff that I wanted here and there. So if I wanted a slice of pizza, if my parents ordered pizza, I would have a slice of pizza and then go and eat my broccoli and chicken. Um, so you don't have to be an extremist. Sometimes I did get into a mode where I was an extremist just because I knew I had lacked in other areas. Um, but you don't totally have to be an extremist um, like me or sometimes or how these other girls on YouTube make videos are like extremists and they say you can't cheat at all and you don't know. I'm like whatever goes, whatever floats my boat. If I feel like eating a slice of pizza and I'm looking at it and I'm like you know what I want that slice of pizza. I know that I probably shouldn't but I'm like you know what whatever I'm just eat it. Don't deprive yourself because when you deprive yourself that's where you binge eat because sometimes I really did like deprive myself and I would go total low carb for two weeks and my results would be amazing and I'd be like yeah I look good but then I would binge eat. Like I would get a taste of one thing and I would just binge eat the whole weekend away. A bag of hot Cheetos, M&M's, pizza, rice, like, and it would just stack up on me burgers and then I erased all that progress that I had. So if you feel like you're a binge eater and after two weeks of not having something you're just totally gonna binge eat, have small portions of things so you're not like craving it like just like a rabbit dog. Like oh my god I gotta have it because once you do have it you're just gonna like gorge yourself. I don't know if you've ever seen that episode of gumball where like the little ghost wants to eat and he like possesses gumball's body and eats all the food it's like that the next video that i do where i talk about going from 240 to 140 i'm going to try to do a like um timeline style so i'll start like my first 10 pounds then my next 20 pounds then my next 30 pounds and showing pictures of each phase and just kind of talk about each phase that I went through so it's more structured <laughs> um but yeah that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you think give it a thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to subscribe because I'll have a bunch of cool videos I don't just do like health and fitness videos I also do hair reviews I'm gonna try to be getting into like makeup-y things although as you can tell by my face I'm not that great at makeup but hey I'm a beginner so we'll try it um, fashion type videos, um, you know, stuff like that. Cute things. <laughs> Story times. So uh, that's it for this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, guys. Please. It means a lot. Um, and yeah, that's it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. It's like, you know, I need a good thumbnail for the video. I don't know if I'm going to use pictures or thumbnails, so let's try to get this thumbnail popping. I don't know why I just did the lip pal right now. Like, what is that? What, what was that, Jennifer?
am I trying to feel my, who do I think I am? Who do I think I am?